Luxury large cars are great if you want a full-size car that has an opulent interior with the latest technology features. This is Carsties, and in today's episode, we're going to show you the best luxury large cars for 2020. The Lincoln Continental is a good luxury large car. Rear seat legroom is so abundant you may wonder why every NBA player doesn't use one for his personal limo. Tech features are user-friendly, and the ride is comfortable. On the downside, the standard V6 engine is tame, though the two optional twin-turbocharged variants are much more powerful. The 2020 Lincoln Continental starts at $46,305, which is one of the lowest base prices among luxury large cars. The mid-range Lincoln Continental Reserve starts at $59,870, and the range-topping Continental Black Label retails for $70,205. This Lincoln generally has a nice interior. Most materials are of high quality, and the cabin design is sleek and modern. However, there are some lower-grade plastics that are unimpressive for a vehicle at this price point. Critics also note some build quality issues and a less-than-satisfying fit and finish. The 2020 Lincoln Continental Standard Powertrain features a 3.7-liter V6 engine that puts out 305 horsepower. While that may sound like a lot of muscle, it translates to merely okay acceleration on the street. It'll get you where you need to go without drama, but it doesn't offer much excitement. Two twin turbocharged V6 engines are available. A 2.7-liter that makes 335 horsepower and a 3.0-liter that's good for 400 horsepower. Both deliver forceful acceleration and have more power on tap for high-speed passing and merging maneuvers. A six-speed automatic transmission is standard throughout the lineup. It shifts abruptly and usually struggles to find the right gear. Overall, it feels inconsistent and unrefined. The Continental provides a comfortable ride, though harsher pavement causes some bumps and noises to intrude into the cabin. Body movements are well controlled around corners, but there's a distinct lack of steering response and feedback from the road. Despite its size, this large car is pretty maneuverable in tight spots. The 2020 Mercedes-Benz CLS is a good luxury large car. The coupe-like CLS has an elegant interior with top-notch materials, comfy seats, and lots of user-friendly features. It's smooth and relaxing to drive, even on rough pavement, and it's available with powerful yet fuel-efficient turbocharged engines. Better still, the CLS packs an array of advanced safety features. If you want a luxe and energetic sedan with styling that stands out from the crowd, the Mercedes CLS can certainly scratch that itch. The 2020 Mercedes-Benz CLS 450 starts at $69,950. That's one of the highest starting prices in the luxury large car class. The price climbs to $81,200 for the high-performance AMG CLS 53 model, though options can push it past $100,000. The Mercedes-Benz CLS has a stunning interior that mixes modern aesthetics and minimalism with the brand's more traditional styling. The materials are top-notch, from the rich leather and wood accents to the crisp aluminum trim. The cabin is also very quiet. There's a minimum of road or wind noise at speed, apart from a nice burble from the exhaust pipes. The Mercedes CLS 450 is equipped with a 362-horsepower 3.0-liter turbocharged straight-six engine. A 9-speed automatic transmission and rear-wheel drive are standard. All-wheel drive is optional. The sportier AMG CLS 53 model has an upgraded version of this engine with 429 horsepower, plus standard all-wheel drive. 0 to 60 miles per hour takes around 5 seconds for the CLS 450 and about 4.5 seconds for the CLS 53. The automatic transmission fires off quick and seamless gear changes on its own and when operated by the steering wheel shift paddles. The CLS excels at high-speed cruising. Its adaptive suspension soaks up bumps and dips in the road comfortably, making long road trips serene and relaxing. 
The CLS Rite is even softer when paired with the optional air suspension. The CLS complements these refined driving dynamics with responsive steering and minimal body lean around tight turns. Its large brakes provide strong and smooth stopping power as well. The Kia K900 is a good large luxury car. This is a palatial cruiser that moves with authority thanks to a muscular twin-turbocharged V6 engine. It focuses on comfort over sportiness with a pillowy soft ride that pampers occupants. Speaking of pampering, all of the seats deliver a first-class experience. Throw a slightly above-average dependability rating and user-friendly technology, and the K900 is a solid all-round proposition. If you're looking for weakness, you'll have to focus on the K900's lower-grade cabin materials and so-so fuel. The K900 has a starting retail price of $59,900, which is about average for a luxury large car. This Kia's price range is limited thanks to the availability of only one major option package. Most cabin materials are premium and impressive, and every model is outfitted with plush Napa leather seats and real wood trim pieces. However, some critics lament that there are too many painted plastic pieces for a car in this class. The K900 comes standard with a 3.3-liter twin-turbocharged V6 engine that's rated at 365 horsepower and 376 pound-feet of torque. This is the same powertrain found in the performance-oriented Kia Stinger GT, and it feels just as much at home in this big sedan. It also gives the K900 the most standard horsepower in the class, an honor it shares with its corporate cousin, the Genesis G90. The K900 accelerates swiftly and gets up to speed with little effort. Even when working hard, the twin-turbo V6 engine feels refined and exhibits little excess noise or harshness, further contributing to a luxury driving experience. A standard 8-speed automatic transmission delivers smooth and timely shifts. This big car exhibits a lot of poise on the road, easily soaking up large bumps and floating over broken pavement. There is little exterior noise that permeates the cabin. The 2020 G90 is a great luxury large car. Its cabin quality is exquisite, and both rows of seats offer enviable comfort and space. The G90 comes packed with advanced safety features and a user-friendly infotainment system. Whether equipped with a V8 or twin-turbocharged V6 engine, it has plenty of power on tap. Also, ride quality remains plush and comfortable in nearly all driving situations. Genesis prices the 2020 G90 at $72,200, which makes it the most expensive base model among luxury large cars. However, its price ceiling is a lot lower than rivals with similar starting prices. The G90's highest trim starts at $75,700. The G90 has outstanding interior quality. Standard plush Napa leather seats highlight a list of impressive materials, and there are soft touch surfaces throughout the cabin. The standard engine in the 2020 Genesis G90 is a 365-horsepower twin-turbocharged V6. It has plenty of low-end torque to get you moving quickly, and acceleration is strong and linear as you get up to higher speeds. You can also opt for a 420-horsepower V8. This engine doesn't feel but much more powerful than the standard twin-turbo V6. Most shoppers will be satisfied with the standard engine and probably don't need to shell out the extra cash for the upgraded mill. This Genesis's primary directive is to be a serene and stable sedan capable of eating up highway miles like they were potato chips, and it delivers. Little outside road and wind noise permeate the cabin, thanks to sound deadening measures like specially designed wheels, and bumps and shocks in the road are barely noticeable. The Audi A7 is a good car. In fact, it's hard to pinpoint any weakness in the A7. It comes standard with a powerful V6 engine, and it offers a performance-oriented variant. It handles well, and the suspension soaks up the road imperfections easily. Inside, there are two rows of spacious comfortable seats and a large cargo hold, and it has plenty of user-friendly tech features. 
Additionally, it has an above average predicted reliability rating. The A7 carries a base price of $69,000, making it one of the most expensive cars in the class. At the top of the A7 ladder sits the Prestige trim, which starts at $79,700. That's a middle-of-the-pack price for the top trim of a luxury large sedan, and the Prestige isn't even the most expensive A7 model. That honor belongs to the Audi S7, which is the A7's performance-oriented variant. The base S7 Premium Plus starts at $83,900, while the S7 Prestige starts at $89,500. The Audi sedan provides the posh interior you expect in a high-end luxury vehicle. The cabin is sleek and attractive, and there are top-notch materials everywhere you turn. You have two powertrain options with the A7. The standard A7 features a 355-horsepower V6 engine and a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. Or you can opt for the performance-tuned S7 model, which comes with a 444-horsepower V6 engine and an 8-speed automatic transmission. With both setups, you'll find that this Audi feels energetic when you hit the gas pedal. The A7 accelerates quickly, but the S7 takes it to a different level. It darts from 0 to 60 miles per hour about 3 quarters of a second quicker than the A7, 4.5 seconds versus 5.2 seconds. Sure the A7 is no sports car, but it won't force you to shy away from winding roads, either. This Audi has compassed handling, and it feels stable around turns. It also delivers a comfortable ride, even over rough roads. Large luxury cars offer a range of standard and optional tech features, as well as a variety of engine styles and power. Whether you are impressed with superior technology, comfort, or performance, you'll find a mix of cars in this class that may appeal to you. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please join us by subscribing so you don't miss out on future episodes, and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.